I've said in many interviews before that it, that has been an honour, uh, leading the boys out there every week. It's been an honour coming to, to train here uh, with the team uh, week in, week out, and, and uh, it's been something that I'll definitely remember. And uh, we've shown in two years, you know, the level that we can take football to here in Australia, and uh, not only on the park but off the park with uh, you know the community work with the fans, the RBB. Um, there aren't many non red and black jerseys in the stadium at Pertec on the weekends games and you know things like that uh, are something that I'm definitely going to take away with me. Um, a lot of the RBB I suppose grew up in the area that I grew up. I see a lot of them around the shops and, and things like that so I can definitely relate to them and um, you know I think that's what, what has made me very proud you know coming from Wakeley um, and seeing the amount of footballers out there it's also given them something to, to strive for. Hopefully I've represented the club well, which I feel I have. Um, obviously now it's the, is the next chapter for, for the next captain, which I'm sure at this stage would be Nikolai. And, uh, you know, it's, it's part and parcel of football for players to move on. But for me, it's, it's been an honour uh, to represent the club. And, um, yeah, I'd just like to basically thank all the fans and, and the supporters. It's, it's been a bit of a tough year for me, um, you know, having played, I feel playing well. but. Uh, you know, those decisions are left up to the coach and I've been lucky enough to wear the, the armband and, and still lead the boys. Um, not only out on the park, but you know, in general showing how I, I train it, you know, on the park here in Blacktown and, um, you know, people, some people like you as a football, some people don't like you. It's, it's part and parcel, but, uh, you know, I'm sure majority think I'm, I'm a pretty good guy. <laughs> The last two seasons has been some very proud moments as a, a player and you know part of the club in general. Obviously, holding up the plate last year in front of our home crowds was uh, again something that I'll never forget. Um, this season, going into the, the Champions League games and, and you know some boys there that haven't played that many games, uh, me definitely included in that. But you know to play my last game with the team on the home pitch and win, you know against a, a team that's won the, the J League in the last few years is something uh, very special. But, you know, at the end of the game, I got the chance to take my little boy out onto the field and, um, uh, you know, go down to the goals and, and him score a goal, turn around and have the fans clap him. Yeah, almost brought a tear to my eye, you know, so that's, that's something very, very special. I'll never forget that, you know, and I think that just shows the respect that I have of uh, the fans that were there at the end of the game and um, I feel the same towards them. Um, you know, being a footballer, you love being on the park every day. I don't know where my next chapter will be. Hopefully it's still in football playing. I still feel like I have a lot to give some, some club, but um, yeah, that's, that's life, isn't it? Just got to move on and thank you very much, you know, to you guys, uh, to, the, to the club and most of all to the, the fans. You know, it's been a, a great ride. There's still a lot more to clump, come for the club. Um, you know, it's part and parcel of football. Players come and go. But yeah, there's still a lot more to achieve as a, as a wanderer, I suppose. And uh, for me, thank you very much for your support and uh, I'll see you around.